I'm Dr. Jeanette Raymond, psychologist and psychotherapist and expert on relationship problems here to share with you how I helped one of my clients find romance and love in his life when he'd been working so hard to meet women and go to every uh, social gathering that he could in order to find a mate for himself. He'd been failing for 10 or 15 years, you know, and he was really upset that all the time and energy he put into it didn't work. He'd go to um, every kind of social event, like uh, church gatherings, uh, you know, his uh, work ish uh, outings. Everywhere he was invited, he'd go and he'd look forward to it and didn't want to miss any opportunity. And he'd come away feeling really disappointed and sad. Sometimes he'd meet, you know, he even went to these single bars where you meet lots of people and you go, you, you know, 30 seconds or whatever to um, see if you like someone. And he'd pick people up and then he'd find out that by the time he got home, his initial enthusiasm for a particular woman would kind of fade. And it would become really hard work for him to text or ask her out. And it would, then he'd have to go to a place of, well, I need to be a good person. Uh, I already said I'd ask her out, so I should. And it became a burden, an obligation, a really, really difficult experience for him. So w when we worked on it together, what I helped him realize was that he was splitting up two things inside him that made it impossible for him to feel excited or romantic and in love. And here were the two pieces that he was splitting apart. Number one was his physical attraction, the chemistry between him and another woman. No matter what her intellect was or her job was or anything else, just the pure chemistry, male to female chemistry. That was on one side and it was not in touch with this other part of him that wanted a very particular kind of woman for his wife. She had to be of the same ethnic origin. She had to be a certain height and weight. She had to follow a certain diet regimen that he thought was very uh, important in order for her to be healthy and bear his children and be a good partner to him. She also had to be extremely well educated and emotionally independent. She shouldn't rely on him to take care of her, but it was okay for her to be um, socially dependent because he was traditional, wanted to earn the living, buy the home, and take care of uh, the wife and the children. He didn't expect her to work. So when these two things clashed, every time he met somebody, you can imagine the turmoil inside him. The only way he managed to kind of have a rest from this turmoil and escape was if he found somebody who had all the right characteristics to be a good woman, the right kind of looks, height, education, ethnic origin, and so on, he would shut down all the physical chemistry so that he didn't have to pursue the woman because there was no vitality, there was no love, there was no excitement, there was nothing attracting him other than she fulfilled his criteria for a mate. Well, you know, not very exciting and certainly not very alluring to go after. Then, when later on he met a woman who was exciting and who did draw him in physically, was very attractive and aroused him sexually, the chemistry was fine. He then chopped off the other part of him, which wanted to have a, the woman with the right ethnic origin, education, physical body, diet regimen, and so on. So whenever he got one of his criteria, he made sure he didn't get the other one. And that made it impossible for him to actually find a woman that he could be both in love with and have the attributes that he valued in a prospective wife. And it was not until I helped him see this over and over and over again with hundreds of dates that he had, hundreds of women that he got in touch with, got to know, tried to be uh, um, a boyfriend to, that all fell apart. And it happened with an old friend that he had that he liked. 
they used to text each other and talk on Skype and things like that. She was someone he felt he could trust and he could share his day-to-day -day life with. But he had never, ever felt sexually attracted to her. She wasn't beautiful. She wasn't the right height. She didn't eat the right things as far as he was concerned. Um, but she was well-educated and she was um, a professional. She didn't need him to rely on emotionally. He didn't have to fix her or take care of her in that way. In fact, she was more available to him than he was to her emotionally. And after a long time of working on this, I finally advised him to meet up with her and see if there was any attraction after all the work that we did together. And he was totally blown away. This woman, who for three years he had not felt anything for, in fact, he'd been repelled by her physical attributes. He couldn't keep his hands off her. He wanted to hug her and kiss her and be close to her go as far as she would allow him and he admired her independence her professionalism the fact that she wasn't pushing him to take care of her that she was going to be the perfect wife because she had all the attributes he wanted in the wife and the romance for the first time in his life the two came together and he was so grateful to me for that that it's really working out because he gave it a chance he stopped the split. He weaved the two parts of him together with my help. And that's how he found the love of his life and the kind of woman that he wanted. You can do that too. And the only way you can do it is by really understanding what parts of you you're allowing to be alive and vital and working and what parts you split off, put away, stamped on, refuse to give any light of day or breath to. And it's because you're defending against something that you think is going to let you down in the future. So you don't want to take the risk. You'd rather be giving yourself the false impression that you're trying and trying and trying and it's not your fault because after all you can't help it if there's no sexual chemistry or anything else in the chemical area. Well, it's not true. You can do something. You can take your defenses down, your walls down, and begin to knit all those parts of you together. So the whole of you is available to feel all the things, the romance, the excitement, the sexual energy, the admiration, the feeling of wanting to take care and being taken care of, the feeling of being available, the feeling of trust, of mutual depending on each other, having each other to lean on when you need it, and in going forward as a team with a solid foundation. And now, if you can send me a few notes about your experience of love and how hard it's been for you. What would you like to know? How, would it, how are you faring in trying to put all the parts of you together so that you can get what you want? And let me know what your frustrations are about how difficult it's been for you and all the efforts that you made. And I'll do my best to answer all your questions.